Are you ready for today's story? <laughs> Let's go! My bedtime stories. <laughs> Read with me as we make the world more magical one story at a time. Patience is my superpower. Written by Alicia Ortego, a kid's book about learning how to wait. Hello, my name is Dan, and I have just turned eight. I love doing a lot of things, but I really hate to wait. One morning, while I was cozy in my warm and snuggly bed, next Friday, we're off to the village. My lovely mother said, Hooray! I was so happy that I gave out a very loud squeak. But then suddenly I realized I had to wait a week. The week went by so slowly. I was grumpy as could be. It's only five school days. My mom explained to me. The days at school were so boring. I cannot tell a lie. The only thing on my mind was Granny's famous pie. Finally, Friday came, my grump replaced by smiles. But then I calculated that we had to drive four miles. I really wish at that point I had a teleport machine, because I was bored in the car as I had never been. Mom said, I know, let's play the guess who game. Reluctantly, I agreed and guessed the first mysterious name. Next, we played the license plate game, in which I proved pretty smart. And then I told my mom a joke about a stinky fart. We're here, mom said. And as I rubbed my eyes, I saw my grandparents' house. What a wonderful surprise! When thinking back, I was amazed how much fun we'd had in the car. So much fun that driving to the house didn't seem that far. When Granny saw me, she scooped me up and hugged me really tight. I couldn't move my arms even if I wanted to fight. I longed for Granny's famous pie rattling my fork and plate. But the pie was in the oven, so again, I had to wait. Granny took me to her garden filled with beautiful flowers wanting to show me the meaning of patience and its superpowers. Granny picked an unripe fruit and told me to try a bit. Yuck! It's disgusting! I said and out I had to spit. Unripe fruit is bitter for those who cannot wait until it ripens and becomes the yummiest fruit you ate. Then she showed me a hive placed among the trees and said, We get honey. Thanks to the hardworking bees. That honey takes a while to make. And aren't you glad? She said. Because you get to smother it on fresh and crusty bread. Passing by the chicken coop, Granny showed several eggs. Lying quietly in the straw, tucked between hen's legs. I want to see the baby chicks! I began to yell. But we'll only find the yolk if we open up the shell. If you aren't patient enough and wait a little while, the new life that will be born will be sure to make you smile. Ready to fill your tummy? Granny turned and asked. The pie must be ready. Wow, time passed so fast. When eating my slice of delicious pie and sipping my cup of tea, I understood how much fun the waiting parts can be. Later, Grandpa and I played chess in the afternoon. But then came time when Mom said, We should be leaving soon. We'll finish our game next week. My grandpa kindly said, I was very sad, but I decided to be patient instead. Granny gave me a piece of pie and a hive poster too. Color every cell when you learn something new. You will see that school days can be fun and really great. You'll be amazed how many things you can learn while you wait. 
And she was right. Patience is a very pleasant thing, especially when waiting, something nice it can bring. I was patient as I waited my turn on the slide and as I waited my turn on the merry-go-round ride. Every day, I painted a poster during the school break while thinking of chess with grandpa and the next move I would make. When I learned to plant a tree or a beautiful flower, and when I learned that patience is my superpower. Thank you so much for staying and reading with me until the end. Please give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed this and share it with your friends so we can all read along together. See you on our next one. Bye!